the grade ones. Um, for math today, we're gonna learn two new 3D shapes. So, do you remember the difference between 2D and 3D? 2D is flat as a piece of paper. 3D, I always say it rhymes with flat. 3D is fat. Doesn't mean it's fat, but it just means it's big. It has those three dimensions to it. So it has, um, it has the face and the sides, but it also has vertices to make it bigger, like something you can hold in your hand, not flat. So 3D is fat, not flat. Just something we can think about. So the first shape uh, we're gonna learn is called a sphere. Here's how you say that. I want you to say the word fear, fear. Now you're gonna put an S at the beginning to make that blend, sphere, S fear, sphere. Okay, do you got it? Here's where it gets a little bit confusing because lots of times in grade one, I find that my students will say it the wrong way, oh no, because this is how you spell sphere. There looks, well, there is a P in it, so lots of times, grade ones, I hear them say spear, okay? And we are smart mathematicians, so we say our shapes right. A spear, grade ones, is a weapon like this. That's a spear. A sphere is a ball, okay? Here's why it makes that F sound. Because PH, you might have figured this out yourself, but we haven't talked about it. PH makes the sound f like F, okay? It is just like when we learned TH says th, CH says ch. Well, PH says f. So that's where in our word it says sphere, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna just show you how to draw a sphere, okay? Um, pretty simple at first. You're gonna draw a circle, okay? But if I see this on a piece of paper, I'm gonna think, okay, that's a circle, okay? A circle and a sphere are two different things. So you kinda have to be a little tricky when you're doing it and you draw a dotted line, okay? So it would be like this. Oh, well, that's kind of hard to see. And that's going to show like that it is three dimensional. So what you do, and it's not a straight dotted line, it'll be like a curve like that. Okay, almost like a little bit of a rainbow. So you start at the top and you're going to just do a dotted line. And it's not necessarily perfect, but um, you'll see it all the time in math books and things like that, that when it is 3D, um, a sphere, it's gonna have this dotted line to kind of show like, oh, if you turned it, it would be a circle on all sides, okay, a sphere on all sides. Now, the thing about a sphere is it has no vertices, that means points, so when we had things like um, a rectangular prism, it has these corners. Well, a sphere doesn't have a corner, it's kind of one of those shapes that is a little bit tricky, and honestly, every year I teach it, I have to relearn it. The one thing I will show you though, man, it's hard, I don't have enough hands. Um, if you put a sphere and you trace it, okay, and I'm going to finish tracing it flat because I can't, but um, it's flat and I'm tracing around it. This is what it looks like when I traced it. What shape is that? A circle. So the face of a sphere, even though it's not flat, the face is still a circle, okay? Um, and then it has no sides and it has no vertices. So that's kind of a tricky thing about these rounded 3D shapes, okay? So that's the first one is sphere, okay? Um, the next one is called a cylinder. Okay, so an example of a cylinder would be a can. Okay, this is called a cylinder. So I'll spell cylinder for you. Cylinder. You'll notice, it starts with a C, it's a Cinderella C. Okay, because we say S instead of K. So a cylinder. Um, here are the important parts of a cylinder. So it has two faces that are a circle. Do you see that, how that's a circle? Okay. Now, 
this part of it, it's kind of hard to imagine, but if you cut this can, which I mean, you have to be pretty strong, it would actually turn into a rectangle. So um, let me just grab a piece of paper one second. Here's kind of an example. So I have this, this piece of paper that's a rectangle, okay? If I fold it so it's all touching, like this, I've made a cylinder, okay? So it's rounded like that, and then it has its circle face. And it's, can you see my eye? No, I'm not pointing right, and a circle face. Um, so that is what a cylinder is made out of for shapes. One rectangle, rounded, and two circles. That's pretty cool. Um, to draw a cylinder, a 3D cylinder, this is what we do. We draw um, an oval, okay? So, draw an oval, and then down below it, you're gonna draw another oval exactly the same size okay mine is not beautiful but that's how life goes then you're gonna go on the side and you just connect them and there is your cylinder okay um, so today you're gonna go on a shape hunt for um, spheres and cylinders around your house I've seen a couple different things it's kind of cool you can either write down uh, the words that you find like if you find a ball you could write the word ball is a sphere. And then I found a can, so I'm gonna write a can. The other thing that I've noticed some students doing is like you will do it flat, but taking a picture of the can under cylinder and you like place the ball underneath and then you can just put the shapes that you find uh, on your chart if you'd like. So today you're finding spheres and cylinders around your house. Um, let me know what you find. I'm interested to see. I hope this made sense. These are two of the hardest shapes. So uh, if you understand this, then you're going to understand them all. You guys are geniuses, like I say. All right. I'll talk to you soon.